Ok ragazzi, si continua. Sconfiniamo nella follia. Cos'è un occhio? Un polpetto. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. Ni cazzo, non bevi niente. Che secondo me se tipo lo fai bere troppo poi inizia a perdere ancora di più. No, meglio non bere, raga. Non me la sento di bere. L'ultima volta che ho bevuto mi ha dato quel, quel, quel messaggio. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colton have to say about all this. No, bene, quindi non posso neanche controllare in giro. Datemi da bere! How do you feel? Una merda. Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Ah. Posso sedermi o How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Allora. Un continuo professionista. Potrebbe aver trovato una parola con Bradley. È eh, medicina professionista per poter dire che era morto. L'ha visto con gli occhi, cioè, non è che. Boh. Le ho visto che c'era. Io ho trovato questo. I found a dark water PD badge. Lost a colleague recently? What the. Bradley. Ethan? I'm alright, I just had a. That's gone. You're sure? If it's important, it'll come back. But I can't explain why Dr. Fuller would have that badge. The man's a danger, believe me. <coughs> what can we do, Pierce? Mm, allora. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Eh no, perché sono non sono un medico professionista. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Strong cats, bro, okay. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then. Uh, eh, the boy? I, uh, the rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. <clears throat> then, I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Eh, cazzo, vuoi parlare di, di topi muschiati? Cioè, qua dove sei un medico professionista? Ma di che livello? Cioè, questo l'ho già fatto, torna indietro. Ok. Uh, parla con, con la cretina o oh, cold given the energy he pours into riverside i presume it was fullest creation his father's to be correct he was a surgeon on board the siller he founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the hawkins family before he died and his son thomas fuller took over two families inextricably linked most island families are that way Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. 
I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Um, Dr. Fuller up. seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. <clears throat> Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Uh, I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Eh. Eh. Torn indietro. Um... I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood. Everywhere. My legs. The pain. I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Mm -hmm. I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. Uh. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. <clears throat> if you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household... <clears throat> Please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. 
Oddio, mi sa che in questo casa di gioco non morirà mai nessuno. No, il cazzo, non bere. Ah, lasciamo così. Ok, allora bene, devo andare. Lascia. E vedete. Io nella forza preso il caso di Saro, che sono una nuova pista da seguire. Quello di Francis Sanders, collezionista d'arte e amico della pittrice, che è morto proprio sotto gli occhi di Pierce. L'investigatore decide di recarsi dalla vera dove il collezionista parlare dell'errante che è sventruto marito, menzionando prima di morire. Bene, 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 bene. Vabbè. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely <laughs> what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's oh, here. Oh, God, that's a puttana. Tu mi sta sul cazzo. You know each other. Our paths crossed briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Putana. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Minchia, l'hai dipinti, Cristo. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Mm. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Morte, che ti devo dire? Psico, non devi sentirsi in colpa, professore. Eh, professore, è morto gridando avanti mio, che non era. L'ha presa piuttosto bene. He started raving, screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Oh, mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. H how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, uh. and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? Eh, Chicha. Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Dark Water. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Eh, mamma mia. Eh, però di narrante, cosa ci fa qui, Kat? Cristo. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery, 
No better place for painting than endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no <clears throat> heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him after all? Dio signore, ecco perché è cresciuto la testa in cui chiede la cessione del corpo del suo defunto marito. Mi rincresce informarla che non posso considerare così nella salva al momento del suo internamento lì ha fermato un liberatore che mi promette di disfarmi del corpo nel modo che ritengo più opportuno. Ne rinnovo le mie condoglianze, beh, è ritardata anche lei, che cazzo vuole. Aspetta un attimo perché ho due punti. Um, vedi, sei punti disponibili, però stavolta è andato bene, perché qua è sempre 4 su 5, 4 su 5. Stavolta però aumenta la forza qua. Così va meglio. Per così posso forzare le, le porte. Quindi abbiamo tutto 4 su 5. Questa merda si aumenta da sola. Con l'occultismo devo prendere cose. Bla bla bla. Ok. Esamina l'errante. Oggi. Oh, Mi, mi diceva ah, fanculo idiota non sai suonare e sei trattato di una qua che questa è medicina tutto a fare bene qua non posso uscire perché ovviamente esco fuori di casa come un idiota che bello che mi lascia gironzolare per casa ho 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 merda è chiuso voglio vedere a 4 su 5 la forza se cambia qualcosa, nel senso se posso aprire serrature o oh, non ancora, sono curioso. Aspetta. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders lives. Minchia. Ah. Ho fatto bene a tornare qua un attimino. Ah, oh, guardate, guardate qui. Il tè. Frances Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Mm. Mikoni. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell the painting? Mm. A house of artists. A house of artists. A house of artists. Ma non posso uscire. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Hmm. He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Eh. Ah! Yeah! Ah. The Shambler. I need to see it. Bene. Beh, anche gli altri quadri non è che siano il massimo. Guardate questo, Cristo. Cioè. Non è che sta famiglia sia normale. Let's eh. see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Ma la registrazione è audio. Mi chiedo, ti hai capito girando per la, per la casa rubando cose con la cretina seduta tranquillamente. Imbecilla. Io provo tutte le porte, non si sa mai. Oh no, quella puttana lì. I could use one of those. Ancora. Questi tutti sonniferi. A strange Amerindian pendant. Amerindio? Io cosa posso servire? Sono uno scacciasogni. Ah, progressi, viva! Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Se non avessi ancora valore per te, non fammi sentire in colpa per la mia scelta. Non posso essere l'artefice della tua rovina. Ti prego, caro amico, dimenticati di l'errore. This is good. 
Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Okay. Piano. Cosa ho preso? Chiave d'accesso alla galleria di Sanders. Ma c'è bisogno di, di forzare. Tanto tecnicamente ci aveva già dato il, il permesso di quella cretina. La balena e il merluzzo. Ma che sti libri che cazzo ce ne facciamo? Da 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 da. Altra medicina Quanto stiamo salendo esattamente di progressi e Di medicina Eh siamo quasi a tre Ci abbiamo quasi fatto Quasi fatto Occultismo deve salire ancora un botto Fai vedere la sanità mentale Incubi Città sommersa Il rituale La morte di Francis Sanders Se sì, c'è qualcosina Ok io non vorrei parlare con sta troia però Vuoi leggere il libro? Non leggere il libro No posso Ci ho influ influenzato Beh no Aspetta un secondo Posso parlare con la cartina? Eh uh, succhia Ho avuto molti abiti di cattivi Alcuni possono essere più fatali di altri What have you come looking for in this gallery? Cazzi miei. I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Nice story, bad lie. Learn how to dupe, detective. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. Vabbè, ci ho provato. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Mm. Not all, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Puttanella. Sta roba la vorrei leggere. Non so che cazzo di libro è. Mostruose. Hai ecco, fine. Oh Jesus. Ho fatto progressi con l'occultismo. Di quanto però? Non sono ancora molto. Vabbè però. Ci sta. Quello non si domanda come mai c'è la chiave. Ah, deciso. Ora con molta calma esaminiamo. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Mm, buono. Epoca pre-Columbiana. Mm. 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 poi il, il dipinto figo, cazzuto, sarà... In una stanza a parte, me lo sento. Non credo l'abbia esposto proprio qui. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Eh, non è una brutta idea, no? Figo. Un'ala della casa per l'arte. Questo qui ne aveva di soldi. Sto stronzone. Ah, ok, mi sono ricaricato la lanterna. Oddio, era quello il quadro, aspetta. Eh, mi sono sbagliato quindi Ce l'aveva tutto portato Di mano Io non vorrei che guarda il quadro boh, Non so Non voglio che si strappi gli occhi pure lui cioè. God please no nope. mm. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Sì soprattutto perché sono tutti uguali Cristo ma ha cambiato un pochettino ma da qua, qua c'è tipo qualcosa, sta la roccia. Un manoscritto, non lo so. Oh che bello. Ah, ricaricato ancora Cristo, ma posso... C'ha l'infinito. Allora, se ti mettono sta roba c'è un motivo. Hmm. Hmm. Cioè, se ti mettono l'armadio lì, che strano. 
Vuol dire che o arriveranno creature o boh. Cercheranno di ammazzarci. Aspetta un attimo, prima di guardare il quadro. Qua c'è qualcosa. Eh, eh, eh. Part of or was he to it? Perché non abbia dato tale di storia? Sandra disegna un pugnale dalla forma contorno a fine minimo, in particolare la guardia. Presenta la guardia. Presenta uno strano simbolo esoterico. Un tratto ricorrente distintivo della corrispondenza che ha trattato con Sarbi. Ok. Nuovo indizio memorizzato. Disegno di un pugnale. Ma non è che. Sono i pugn... Adesso c'è l'indizio del pugnale, no? Ma non è che si riferisce a quel pugnale che c'è qui che fa. Mmm. 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 Mm. Cioè. O oh, è questo? Non credo quelli di questi. These artifacts date no, no. from pre-Columbian times. Ma che sono tutti uguali, puttana troia. Vabbè, dai, dis... voglio vedere cosa succede se esaminiamo l'errante. Mo si strappa gli occhi. Ecco perché c'era l'olio per la lanterna. No! Beh, altri due punti. Spendiamoli prima di morire. Allora, eh, due punti. La forza non aumentiamo, no. Eloquenza, fiuto. Questo... Anche psicologia però mi sa che tocca aumentare. Così va bene. Come no? I can't even touch it. Cristo, non posso uscire? E dai, si caga addosso dentro l'armadio. E che cazzo dovrei fare? Bene, mica è uscito, ma ho preso subito. Io in teoria devo trovare il pugnale Ma il disegno fa cagare C'è nessuno che sa disegnare Sto cazzo di gioco Allora Questo, questo è il pugnale Sono due lame Trocigliate una attorno a sé È strano sto cazzo di pugnale Però posso andare a esclusione. Aspetta. Questo. This dagger looks different. E entra stronzo! Il problema è che anche se lo prendo non cambia un cazzo! Cioè, o dovrei appugnare il dipinto, o devo appugnare la creatura, non capisco. <ride> Corri, pugnala quel cazzo di stronzo! Sarà questo da pugnalare? Sì! Era questo, cazzo. Io volevo appugnare la creatura. Pugnalala! Se lo diamo di fuoco nel cazzo di dipinto, no?
Cristo. Dall'ignuodo. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. Ma che cazzo dici, Troia, che sono sobrio? I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so too. Mm. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? Eh, me. It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. <laughs> Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Passando la canto secondo me devo dire traia. <laughs> Ho perso la chiave. Dio Cristo. Ok.